Hey guys, Abs here. In this video, I'm going to give you some clarification on SEM Rush and show you exactly how you should be using it so that you can be using it as if you was a pro. So um, I actually made this video explaining exactly how you can use SEM Rush. So go away and view the video if you haven't already viewed it. Um, but we did actually get a comment from um, a user called O'Reilly um, and he's made a note asking, is the video old? Um, and the truth is, no, I actually created this video today as well on the 10th of November. Um, and the reason he's asking if it's old is because he ran about five to 10 searches um, from the keywords that SEM Rush picked out on. Some of the keywords were like saying 185 bucks per click. And when he put them through a different tool, um, he noticed that yes, the competition was very low however the cost per click was actually zero um, or very very low indeed um, so yes I did try and mention that you do need to verify the stats from SEM Rush with your Google AdWords uh, with the Google Keyword Planner just to make sure the CPC is correct. Um, but you know what, I actually went through a number of um, queries that SEM, SEM Rush provided um, and exactly the same as O'Reilly, um, I was able to pick out so many more keywords that had basically um, nothing like what um, SEM Rush was noting. So I'm going to tell you exactly how we can get around this. It isn't the end of the world and we can still use SEM Rush to a massive advantage. So anyway, I've done exactly the same search Pinterest on Pinterest.com. Um, and as you can see, I've um, I've ordered these with the highest CPC. So naked native, let me just quickly go over to Google AdWords and show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so native naked. This is a keyword that SEM Rush is saying um, has $185.27 um, per click. And if we actually have a look at it on Google keyword, the keyword suggestion planner, it doesn't have any suggested bid whatsoever. whatsoever. So you can be very, very misleaded by, by this. But what you can do to get around this and to get past this is very, very simple. What you do is come over here, um, do exactly the same search like I did here and click on export and export everything in CSV. Then when you've got everything in CSV, I think you get about 10,000 results. So it's really cool. Um, and the way I do it is I actually sort by CPC and then export that way. And that's exactly how I've got all the results here. So as you can see, I've got naked, native, um, tiger, stripe, floral, um, where we go, personal injury, eternally, Los Angeles, the Yelp. Um, and as you can see, I've got exactly the same here as well. And I'm using the US search engine or, or it basically how much you'd pay on CPC in the US. Unfortunately, I'm actually in the UK. However, we've already identified that there's many keywords that don't stand um, or that are incorrect. So here's exactly what you do. You can actually enter up to 3000 keywords into the Google Keyword Planner. So all you need to do is come down here and basically highlight the first 3000 or click on the first one, um, go over to cell number 3000. Let me just find it, give me two moments. Okay, so okay, we'll do this 2873, hold the shift key, control C um, and paste it. So I've already pasted some in here, but what I'll do is I'll actually paste these in here again and I'll click on save. Okay, and this is saved as Pinterest one dot text. And what I'm going to do now is go back over to the Google Keyword Planner. I'll quickly qu click on modify search and I'll go this time. I'm going to click on get search volume for a list of keywords or groups um, that or basically group them and add word ideas. Um, so let's do Pinterest one. Okay, and I'm going to click on get search volume data. Okay, so this is exactly how we can get some really cool high CPC keywords. Okay, so there we go. And we can actually um, sort these by high CPC first. And now we've got all the high cost per click keywords um, that Pinterest is ranking for. So a site that isn't relevant or isn't related to any of these, but users have come on, they've added content on it about surviving, I don't know, whatever that is, and then water damage, Thousand Oaks, CBC settlement funding, under 21 car insurance. Alternatively, what you can do as well, guys, I'm going to give you some sniper tips here as well. Um, let me just quickly show you. You can go by average search volume as well. So you can actually find keywords that have very high search volume and some good CPC. This one has a horrible CPC, but look at that one, Reality T. Okay, that's very high, um, but the competition is very low as well, but you do get a high CPC for these. But let me just show you another way that you can use this as well. Okay, unfortunately, it's only giving me 800 keywords. Um, I did actually enter 3000. Um, let's just go back over to modify search. What I'll do, I'll actually go back over to keyword 
planner and just make sure they are still allowing over 3000 keywords. And the way I find this out is click on get search volume list and I normally enter it in here and Google will turn around and say, no, sorry, you can only enter a certain amount. Um, here we go. Okay, you entered too many keywords, please limit to 1000. And you can also upload a file with up to 3000 keywords. So um, if I have a look on here, I've only got 2872. So I'm not entirely sure why it's not giving me the lot. Okay, so this is exactly how you do it, guys. You'll still get your list of keywords from um, using social media sites from SEMrush. You'll actually download the CSV file. You'll put them out at 3,000 keywords in a file. Hopefully, you won't get the issues that I've just had with the Google AdWords tool. Um, and then you'd actually go ahead and find the most lucrative ones and start to target them knowing that the competition is low knowing that you've got social media sites that are ranking for them so it's going to be very easy for you to rank but let me show you another little trip uh, trick as well okay so what we can do here we've actually got data here saying okay naked native um pinterest is ranking position number 11 um I don't know, diamond machine technology is ranking number 11. What we can do though is now we can actually highlight this field and we can sort this. So we'll sort it by um, smallest to largest. So smallest is gonna be number one. Okay, and now we've got all of the keywords that Pinterest is ranking in position number one for um, in the search engines. Um, we don't care about the cost per click at the moment because we're gonna verify everything through Google. And as we confirmed in the previous video, if you did watch the video um, that I added here, um, then you'd notice that um, cloud tattoos was one of the keywords. So now what we can do is actually do exactly the same. Okay, knowing this time that these are all on position one. Or page one so let's get the first 3,000 one more time okay we'll get 2,335 and as you can see these are all up to position five so that means Pinterest is ranking for these keywords on page one and they're all at least in position one to five okay um, from whatever date they've been last been checked so if you have a look 27th of October 2014 31st of October 2014 so they don't always get checked all the time this was checked four days ago uh, this was checked on the 31st of October 2014 okay so anyway let's go over to this keyword file okay let's enter these keywords in here again okay this time we've got 2535 I'm going to save them again and I'm going to go over to the Google AdWords tool I'm going to click on browse I'm going to upload the same file again Pinterest one and I'm going to click on get search volume and now we've got keywords that are ranking on the first page of Google on social media sites and we can actually sort these by higher CPCs first and we can be sure that these keywords here are going to be very very easy for us to target especially if we created websites that were related around them with a couple of pages that are going to reassure our topics so for example what is detox water um, you've got I mean these are in pounds guys as you're seeing here so 63.22 pence um, in dollars is going to be like 112 cents sorry 112 dollars or something I don't know whatever it's going to work out to be um, so this is how you'd use SEM rush you would need to use it with your Google keyword planner as well guys but just keep in mind if you have a look up and down here as well you can see this is a massive mixture of niches and they're all long tail keywords Google themselves are telling you that the CPC is nice and it's large I mean you know I normally target keywords that are you know valued at one pound uh, you know one pound and above if the keyword search volume is nice um, but here you go guys you've got an excellent way of finding and again what you can do here as well is you can you can actually sort these by highest searches first knowing at the same time that you got Pinterest which is a social media site it's ranking on the first page of Google within position number four, one and five um, and you can actually see the number of searches that you can get from them as well as the CPC so invention ideas there's one for you there guys quotes about trust you've got meg ryan plastic surgery self-harm quotes regret quotes passion for savings so these okay you might not want something like meg whatever because the cpc is very low but the other ones they're all great guys and the c and, and the volume is brilliant as well so this is exactly how you'd use sem rush uh with um, social media sites and your Google Keyword Planner. So I hope this answers your question, um, O'Reilly, as well. And I um, I totally agree with you that SEM Rush at the moment um, shows some very, very out um, and not accurate results. And what I'm going to actually do is get in contact with SEM Rush and find out exactly why that is or how they're actually getting that data. Okay, thank you very much, and I hope this does provide a bit more clarification.